plurality at large voting, also known as block vote or multiple non-transferable vote, is a non-proportional voting system for electing several representatives from a single multi-member electoral district using a series of check boxes, and tallying votes similar to a plurality election. Although multiple winners are elected simultaneously, block voting is not a system for obtaining proportional representation. Instead, the usual result is that the largest single group wins every seat by electing a slate of candidates, resulting in a landslide. Even if the term at large describes elections for representative members of a governing body who are elected or appointed to represent the whole membership of the body, this system can be used by a country divided in some multi-member electoral districts. But in this last case the system is commonly referred to as block voting or the block vote. This system is usually based on a single round of vote but it can sometimes appear in a runoff version, as in some local elections in France, where candidates who do not receive an absolute majority must compete in a second round. Here it can be better called as majority at large voting. The term block voting sometimes means simple plurality election in multi-member districts. In such a system, each party introduces a list of candidates and the party winning a plurality of votes wins all the seats. In contrast to such a system, the system described in this article can be called unlimited voting casting and counting ballots. In a block voting election, all candidates run against each other for a number of positions. Each voter selects up to N candidates on the ballot. The N candidates with the most votes of the winners and will fill the positions. Example The Dinatown City Council consists of three seats and seven candidates are vying for these seats. There are 1,500 voters, and the voters each select the maximum three candidates. Election results, flow, 1,250, Mr. Big, 800, Bernie, 650, Simon, 600, Derek, 500, Rosie, 400, Cookie, 300. Since Flo, Mr. Big, and Bernie received the most votes, they will comprise the Dinatown City Council. Flo and Mr. Big each obtained a majority of the maximum 1,500 votes available per candidate. Bernie obtained only a plurality. Tactical voting and strategic nomination plurality block voting, like single winner plurality voting, is particularly vulnerable to tactical voting. Supporters of relatively unpopular third parties have a substantial incentive to avoid wasted votes by casting all of the votes for a slate of candidates from a major party. Parties in block voting systems can also benefit from strategic nomination. Coalitions are actively hurt when they have more candidates than there are seats to fill, as vote splitting will occur. Similarly, a coalition has a substantial incentive to nominate a full slate of candidates, as otherwise supporting voters may cast some of the remaining votes for opposing candidates. Bullet voting is a strategy in which a voter only votes for a single candidate in an attempt to stop him being beaten by additional choices because the voter is essentially wasting a portion of his vote. Bullet voting is only a good strategy when the voter has a strong preference for his favorite and is unsure of the other candidate's relative chances of winning. For example, if the voter supports an independent candidate or a minor party which has only nominated one candidate, Effects of block voting. The block voting system has a number of features which can make it unrepresentative of the voters' intentions. Block voting regularly produces complete landslide majorities for the group of candidates with the highest level of support. Under block voting, a slate of clones of the top place candidate is guaranteed to win every available seat. 
Additionally, like first-past-the-post methods, small cohesive groups of voters can overpower larger numbers of disorganized voters who do not engage in tactical voting, sometimes resulting in a small minority of voters electing an entire slate of candidates by merely constituting a plurality. Some uses of this system have fostered the creation of an electoral alliance between political parties or groups as opposed to a coalition. This has been the case in the National Assembly of Mauritius, the New Hampshire House of Representatives with the election of multiple free state project as well as New Hampshire Liberty Alliance members and, in the Vermont Senate with the elections of Vermont Progressive Party members Tim Ash and Anthony Polina. Historically, similar situations arose within the multi-member constituencies in the Parliament of the United Kingdom. While many criticize bloc voting's tendency to create landslide victories, some cite it as a strength. Since the winners of a bloc voting election generally represent the same slate group of voters, there is greater agreement amongst those elected, potentially leading to a reduction in political gridlock. Variations of block voting, partial block voting, also called limited voting, functions similarly to plurality at large voting. However, in partial block voting, each voter receives fewer votes than the number of candidates to be elected. This in turn can enable reasonably sized minorities to achieve some representation, as it becomes impossible for a simple plurality to sweep every seat. Partial block voting is used for elections to the Gibraltar Parliament, where each voter has 10 votes and 17 seats are open for election. The usual result is that the most popular party wins 10 seats and forms the ruling administration, while the second most popular wins 7 seats and forms the opposition. Partial block voting is also used in the Spanish Senate, where there are 4 seats and each voter receives three votes. Historically, partial block voting was used in three- and four-member constituencies in the United Kingdom, where voters received two votes, until multi-member constituencies were abolished. Under partial block voting, the fewer votes each voter is granted the smaller the number of voters needed to win becomes and the more like proportional representation the results can be, provided that voters and candidates use proper strategy. At the extreme, if each voter receives only one vote, then the voting system becomes equivalent to the single non-transferable vote and the minimum proportion needed is the droop quota. Block voting, or plurality block voting, is often compared with preferential block voting as both systems tend to produce landslide victories for similar candidates. Instead of a series of check boxes, preferential block voting uses a preferential ballot. A slate of clones of the top preferred candidate will win every seat under both systems. However, in preferential block voting, this is instead the instant runoff winner. The party block voting, or general ticket, is the party list version of the block vote. If in the classic BV the candidates formally stand as non partisan and some minority nominations can be theoretically successful, in the PVB each candidate a link to his party list, which is voted by the electors producing a landslide, and any minority representation is excluded. So, the full at-large PBV is considered completely anti-democratic, and it is used only to elect portions of assembly. Usage of block voting. These countries use the block vote. Kuwait, Laos, Lebanon, Mauritius, Mongolia, Syria, Tonga, Tuvalu, United Kingdom in some local elections. United States in some state and local elections. Dot. Block voting was used in the Australian Senate from 1901 to 1948. 
It was used for multi-member constituencies in parliamentary elections in the United Kingdom until their abolition, and remains in use throughout England and Wales for some local elections. It is also used in Jersey, Guernsey, the Isle of Man, the Cayman Islands, the Falkland Islands and St Helena. Plurality bloc voting is was also used in the election of the Senate of Poland, of the Parliament of Lebanon, the plurality seats in the Palestinian Legislative Council and for the National Assembly of Mauritius. In some Lebanese and Palestinian constituencies, there is only one seat to be filled. In the Palestinian election of 1996 there were only plurality seats, but in 2006 half the seats were elected by plurality, half by proportional representation nationwide. A form of plurality bloc voting was used for the elections of both Houses of Parliament in Belgium before proportional representation was implemented in 1900. The system, however, was combined with a system similar to a runoff election, when not enough candidates had the majority of the votes in the first round. A second round was held between the highest ranked candidates of the first round. In some constituencies there was only one seat to be filled, a similar system to elect part of the Mongolian parliament. 48 representatives are elected from districts with one to three members. The representatives are required to achieve at least 28% of the vote in a district to be elected. If there are unfilled seats after the first round of voting, a second round similar to the Belgian system is held to fill the remaining seat. The remaining representatives are elected separately using party list proportional representation on the national level. In most of British Columbia, Canada, including Vancouver, plurality is used in local elections, in place of the ward system found elsewhere in Canada. When Toronto was amalgamated in 1997, the new entity's first election used a similar rule. Block voting was also in place in a number of multi-member ridings of various Canadian provincial parliaments. In Hong Kong, block voting is used for a tiny proportion of the territory's population to elect the members of the election committee, which is responsible for selecting the territory's chief executive. Block voting was used in some constituencies for the House of Representatives of Japan in the first six general elections between 1890 and 1898, while the majority of seats was elected by plurality in 214 single-member districts. There were 43 two-member districts that elected the representatives by block voting. Block voting is often used in corporate elections to elect the boards of directors of corporations including housing cooperatives, with each shareholder's vote being multiplied by the number of shares they own. However, cumulative voting is also popular. The Philippines is the country with the most extensive experience in plurality at large voting. Positions where there are multiple winners usually use plurality at large voting. The exception is the election for sectoral representatives in the House of Representatives. The members of the Senate and all local legislatures are elected via this method. The members of the interim Batasang Pambansa were also elected under this method in 1978.